Hello, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. It's a rainy day here in New York City. How are you all doing out there? Today we're going to talk about facial oils. It tend to be one of the most requested videos. So we are going to talk about oils. Now, a few weeks ago, I had a show where I features a feature a few oils and we have a few people, like maybe one or two people that actually won, um, two bottles of oil. However, then here from the um, one of the winner, and uh, I noticed that this person has been really upset. Now, what I want you all to know, when we came on and we do a show like we're doing today, where we're featuring oils and stuff, if I feel like giving away a few bottles of oil, that is because I want to. However, when it comes on to emails, if you are a person that you're like all over the place on YouTube, your email just might go to spam. If I don't get your email, I cannot reply to you. You also have to bear in mind that this is a channel with one 0.7 million subscribers and we have over 1000 videos on this channel now every single video that is on this channel is active and every time someone watches a video they are normally either getting in touch using our email address or commenting now when it comes on to emails Per day, we sometimes get way over a thousand emails per day. So if I offer a gift on the show and I am taking a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, six weeks to give the gift, please note that we have to weed through all of those emails to find your email. And if your email go to spam, I am not going to see it because I don't have time to go in spam. Normally, I would mention, make sure to send me your home address and your phone number. And if you refuse to send and then after three weeks or two weeks, then you get all worked up because I didn't see your email, then that is really on you. You follow the rules. You send your address and you send your phone number. So it's very, very disrespectful when a person um send an email on thursday and i respond to it on friday and on saturday evening or sunday morning you send me seven emails and you keep bombarding my channel talking about you didn't get you get gift you didn't get your gift that's not professional and that is not acceptable okay most people that have want something on this channel do receive the gift if i don't get your email and your address i cannot send and if you send your address and you do not send your phone number I still cannot send the gift. So when you come on my channel, and I'm not going to stop my gift giving because people like when I do give a few things here or there, but if you're just unlucky that I didn't see your email, all I ask you to do is to resend it. And also I liked it, but don't send me 50 email or go and spam in my channel with comment like, oh, I didn't get my gift. Oh, you're not a woman of your word. Stop it. Stop it. Because we just will block you. It doesn't matter how faithful you are on this channel when you come on be respectful because we do give away stuff and most people most people get stuff there are some people who don't get their gift because they live places that is very difficult to send the gift to and so on and so forth and we have faithful subscriber on our channel like margaret and keisha who have not received a single gift not a single gift and they come on every sunday every time we put, put, um, post a video and being very very respectful about it okay so that is what our aim is because guess what these are people that have been here and understand that this is the way the system works will we ever get gift to them of course we will because i am one person that really do not give up so with that out of the way we're going to talk about oils today and i should not even mention about giving away any more oils okay because i don't want people to come at me very unfortunate but no i'm just joking i'm still gonna do my little giveaways and i'm still gonna have our holiday you know giveaway it's what makes our channel is what we do here so we definitely will continue to do so now let's talk let's do our shout out hi jason keisha um julia ali um jill hi jill claudia simit who is always on now vasha hi vasha donna hi donna I haven't seen you for a while ttt georgia paisley who else is here early um 
Irene, welcome to the channel. Hi, Magdalene, haven't seen you for a while. Diana, I am glad you addressed the issue. I saw the comment and I thought that was disrespectful because I know most persons, including me, got my gift. And thank you so much for that. Pauline, you're fired up today. Yes, I am all fired up because I like people to be, you know, be mindful of the way they go about things because we're not here to trick anybody. We don't do this on this channel. We're just here to have a big, happy family where we can share tasks, we can share skincare products, we can take advice from each other. I learned from you, you learned from me, and so on and so forth. It's not a trick channel, nor do we come and we hype that, oh, we're going to give away stuff and we really don't give it away. We don't do that on this channel. We try our best to give away the gifts that we said we we're giving away with the, the fact that I also share with you all the amount of emails that we do get on this channel. We do get thousand of email every single day. The best way to contact me, honestly, is not a true email. Even though we try automatically, and I do have someone helping me out with the emails and it's still a backup, okay? So we're just keeping that real with you. And I always ask everyone to highlight, just highlight. And if you don't hear from us, send another one because we have to read through thousands of email to get to just one email, okay? All right, so facial oils. Finally got you live instead of watching you in replay. And that is from, I think I'm going to mess your name up. I'm going to drop the J and pronounce. All right. I'm going to drop the H. So it's um, G, G N, uh, which is J. Okay. Just went out of my way. I hope I get your name right. So we are moving on. We're talking about ours. It's much better now. Thank you for that. Finally got, okay. So that is J H E A N D E A D S. Now I have some oils here that I want to talk about today. Guess what guys? It's raining cats and dog here in Brooklyn. Is it raining where you are? I was a little hesitant. Like a lot of people is getting all these, you know, hurricane storm warning, storm watch. It's been raining in here in Brooklyn since last night, like heavy, heavy downpour. I thought like now we'd be having, you know, um, high winds, but somehow it's kind of shift a little. But as I said, rain, 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 rain. So with that said, enjoy the rain. I like the rain. Do you like rain? I actually like the rain, but then again, I am Pisces. So maybe you know, that's for the water. All right. Facial oils. Magdalene, you're right. The gift giving is a lot of sacrifice. Thank you. And you actually understand that. And Pauline is raining in Boston. Jackie raining in the Bronx. Lots of rain. That's from Karen. And Karen, we also know that you didn't get your gift um, as yet. Okay. I sometimes remember some of the name. No rain in Arizona. Oh my goodness. You guys must be burning up over there. But guess what? This rain is also bringing down the heat okay so even though it's raining here it's not cool at all it is still very very much hot and it's raining in talia um um tallahassee and that is in florida raining in canada Woo! everyone raining in virginia nice sunshine in guyana i need to just pack up and go to guyana right now because it's summertime and we want that nice uh, sunny in north carolina Oh, that's more inland. So it's like, you know, um, um, the coastline that is getting more rain. Now, guys, if you want to see like some of the oils that we're going to talk about today, when you come on, when you log on, you're going to see product lists. You can actually click on that product list and see some of the oils. That's a new thing that we have on YouTube. Some people, some channel have it, some channel don't. I'm just lucky that they put it on my channel. So you can look in the description box for products as well as you can click on the YouTube link that pops up on my video that said product list. Bear in mind, in the description box, the product list are mostly like from Amazon and stuff like that, where you are going to find a wider variety of products price wise on the YouTube list. I do search hard and wide to find price friendly lists, but you can check out either either. But just to make it clear that some of the products on the YouTube list might be more on the pricey side, pricier side to begin with. Okay. I think they will eventually get a little better. 
better. Georgie, a beautiful sunshine in St. Mary. And St. Mary, I do have family living in St. Mary, Jamaica, Anata Bay. Um, that's what I can remember right now. Anyway, look what I have here. I have a capsule, okay? This is a capsule, and this is vitamin E. If you are doing your natural skincare at home, or even if you're using store-bought products at home, this is one oil that most of us should try to have in your collection. This is vitamin E oil. It is one of the best oil to have to use on your skin. Most of your beauty products is gonna have vitamin E oil in it. All you have to do, get your, your, your moisturizer, turn it over and read the ingredient. Winnipeg, um, that is also in Canada, and um, no rain, I think, or maybe rain. That's somewhere that I wanna go. I actually did all the province in Canada. A couple of years ago, I did a whole tour, like I've been all over. I don't remember if we went to Winnipeg, we probably did, but um, that's like further away, okay? Anyway, um, the, the, the vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is an essential oil for everyone, okay? Whether you're in your 20s or all the way up to 100, vitamin E oil should be an oil you have. Why do you need vitamin E oil? The vitamin E oil can be used directly on the skin if it's like below 9,000 IU, or you can use it in every single one of your DIY, or you can mix it with your store-bought facial moisturizer. It works as an uh, as a um, uh, uh, enrollment that is gonna lock the moisture in the skin, but it's also help to preserve your DIYs. It's like this. The, the 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 preservative in a natural form so definitely a vitamin e now depending on where you live you might find a vitamin e capsule in this color gold is in gold i noticed that let's say like hotter countries depending on where they make it they tend to put the vitamin e capsule in green now that is only the outside the shell that they use to coat and most of the time it's gelatin that make up the outside but the oil in itself is not going to be green when you squeeze it out it's going to be like you know just the regular yellow color that you get from oil but if you can have just one oil at home you should try to get the vitamin e oil now vitamin e oil comes in a wide variety of iu the stronger it is is the less you use if it is over 9000 iu dilute it with something else a carrier oil when we talk about carrier oil and let's talk about carrier oil really really quick carrier oils are oils that you normally mix the higher concentrated oil in you find carrier oils such as coconut oil a very good carrier oil for dry skin you have sweet almond oil a very good um carrier oil if you're making an oil for your under eyes you also have olive oil which is also good for dry skin and it is also good for normal skin you also have grapeseed oil which is good for for oily skin you also have avocado oil which is good for aging skin a perfect anti-aging carrier oil so those oils and also soy oil so those oils are carrier oil and most of those oils do have a bit of a vitamin e but when you get the added vitamin e it kick it up a notch so anything over 9000 iu dilute in one of those carrier oil if if you have the capsule that you buy to take definitely it is good however please know for instance this is my personal vitamin e oil capsule i do take it and we'll talk about that another time come september we're gonna have some shows and we're gonna be having these on our new channel which is the alex maxi where we're gonna be diving into some things other than just the regular skincare here we're gonna dive more into personal things coming up september if you have not subscribed to alex maxi i'm encouraging you to do so the link is in the description box below i think we're like 800 or something like that subscribers so far so click on the link below and i'm gonna post it in community so you all could go and subscribe to alex maxi because it's gonna be very much active and most of you some things that you want that is outside of just the 
natural skincare like fashion and you know makeup and all those things is clothing yes you know teeth you know all of that cooking all of that is going to be on alex maxi and alex maxi is not the black channel it's just a new channel that is going to be associated with our shop so if you have not been a subscriber or a follower of alex maxi when the show is over definitely go and subscribe to alex maxi if you're wondering alex maxi what is that <laughs> that is a mixture of my parents name and also my sister it's just a combination of names that means a lot to me that what makes up alex maxi which i'm anticipating that's going to be a huge brand so we designed it so that you know we could tag like our clothing that we're going to be selling we're going to be selling like some um lingerie and stuff like that and that's going to be our tag alex maxi so definitely subscribe to alex maxi so you'll be in the know and you'll be the first to see you know what we're bringing forward in september now back to the vitamin e oil vitamin e oil as i said this one is mine and this is um 1000 iu which is 670 um grams now when we talk about taking vitamin e oil it's for another show so we're not going to dive into that we're talking about right now is using it topically on the skin use vitamin e topically on the skin as often as you can guess what if you have like dry hands you can add a little bit of the vitamin e um you know in your little lotion and it's gonna kick it up a notch when you make your homemade facial moisturizer or your homemade facial serum definitely use your vitamin e it's gonna preserve it and it's gonna keep it longer now the thickness as i mentioned i'm gonna poke a little one this one that I have here, it have a lot. As much as it look, this little is about a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And uh, it's going to make a, a mess. I didn't bring a little ticker. And I'm trying to use my really ratchet nails to... um. So this is what this vitamin E oil look like. And as you can see, at 1000 IU, you can see that it's still a little thick. So we don't expect you to... To, to to not mix anything over i said 900 this is a thousand you can dilute this one um a little or you might get away with using it directly on the skin but vitamin e oil very very important oil to have in your collection especially the fact that you all follow the diy um facial um, skin care now vitamin e oil also is good for the dark under eye circles you can take a little top of it dab it under your eye do a regular under eye massage and you are good to go how many of you watched the video i post this um two days ago i'm um, showing you how to get rid of the sagging um sagging chin the deep parentheses how many of you watch that video that is actually a facial massaging video facial exercises you all ask for it so if you haven't seen that video go watch it those exercises are really good like taking getting rid of the deep mouth wrinkles like mm, don't look beautiful when you're doing it but it's very very effective so if you have not seen that video go and watch diana um, my vitamin E is 36. Um, um, most likely this is 36. This writing is, um, I'm trying to figure where you live, but it's 36,000 IU. I'm thinking, so I dilute with rose, if sweet almond oil and avocado oil. And this is an amazing combination. Amazing. Take a note guys, if you're watching and you have rose, if oil, sweet almond oil and avocado oil. Now let's dissect her mixture right here. We're dissecting this mixture. The cheese using rose hip oil. Now, definitely, that's the an anti aging oil. Most people can use rose hip oil, but if you're looking to reduce wrinkles and fine lines, if you are looking to, you know, lift and firm that skin and have your skin looking younger, you go for the rose hip. Why the rose hip? Because the rose hip is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. The rose hip oil is also good for your under eyes, and you can use it on your nails and you can use it in your hair perfect anti-aging oil now what she did she mixed it with two separate carrier oil so the sweet almond oil right here is a carrier oil good for under eyes and then you have the avocado oil which is a carrier oil but it is also a perfect 
carrier oil for anti-aging purposes since just like the rose hip it contained the vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e but this carrier oil goes even further because it also contains the omegas and also the electrolytes so this make a perfect anti-aging oil blend for those of you looking for reducing wrinkles this combination is for you along with the vitamin e oil all you need from this is a a teaspoon of the rose hip oil, you need a tablespoon of the almond oil, a tablespoon of the avocado oil, and about six to five, um, five to six drops of this particular vitamin E oil since it is at least um, um, 3,600 uh, IU. Very, very strong and it's gonna be very, very thick, so make sure to mix it up, okay? Very, very good combination of oil. So that is oil number one. Now we are going to move. I did very effective exercises. So someone watched the video and, so, and, and, and Claudia is saying that the exercise in the video is awesome. And yes, I do those religiously. Like this week, again, I'm going to post another one because I'm going to share the ones that I personally do pretty, pretty often. I normally do a never flim, but I'm going to start flimming those so you all could uh, see. Now, um... Now, um, Ozzy, I use about six different oils at the same time. And that is good because most of your moisturizer is made up of several different oils. It's oddly you're gonna find any moisturizer out there that only have like one oil, especially if it's geared towards anti-aging, it's gonna have a wide variety of oils. So definitely very, very good for your skin. Now someone want to know what are my, um, what are most likely my religion now the honest truth is we don't talk about religion on this channel believe it or not um however if you want to know i'm christian okay but it's something because we have different people from all over and i also don't know if because i'm like oh i'm christian then someone's gonna be like oh, we ain't watching her again because she's uh, but anyway but yeah but we try to avoid talking about religion on this platform however for those of you who are interested in joining our group that we're forming on Zoom, go ahead and send us an email, okay? Over there, we could talk all kinds of things. We have an amazing group so far. We have a bit of a people that is interested in the group. So if you're interested in a part to be a part of our Zoom group, which we are gonna meet like once per week, then send your email to chichibeauty at gmail.com. Also, we are still asked, today we were gonna do um, the skin thing where we would um, have a few people on the channel showing their face. I think we get about three or four people who were interested, but the honest truth with all the hurricane and all of that coming, we decide that we're gonna postpone that. We still have the ice challenge up in the here, which is gonna be a daytime um, broadcast. We decided that we're leaving everything for September since this is the two last week of summer and you girl want to enjoy a little bit of the summer okay so i don't want i didn't want to be committed to anything so i know a lot of you miss the daytime shows that's coming back in september full swing but i'm just taking a little time for myself and that is the honest truth but come september everything is gonna fall back into place and we're hoping to bring some amazing um, content to you. We're going to change things up a bit. So please be mindful that we're changing a little bit of our stuff. And that's why we're going to going over to Alex Maxi, because when we change things on this platform, some, this channel, some people just don't gravitate towards it because all they want to see is skincare. So we're taking other things like makeup and clothing, cooking and all of that over on our Alex Maxi, um, channel so definitely go and subscribe claudia take, take as much time you need the rest Chichi, i'm interested but what time we're not sure about the time as yet as soon as we get um probably about 30 or 40 then we're definitely gonna send an email and we're gonna throw it out there like you know what time you all think is the best time and the, the most popular time is what we're gonna use so that is how we're gonna go about you know finding the best time for for it and then we'll take it from there to know one or two shows we'll see how it goes so if you're here for oils we just talk about the vitamin e oil now let's move on to papaya seed oil now i'm telling you my papaya seed oil is almost finished 
I got to get a new bottle soon because I use this oil religiously. It's one oil that if you could get your hands on, you should get your hands on it. Now, please note, if you can't get this papaya seed oil and you have papaya, definitely go ahead and use your fresh papaya. Also, I have a video using the papaya seed, making a serum. And I also have another video using the papaya seed to make a facial moisturizer. If you cannot get your papaya, papaya oil try the serum and try the moisturizer you're not gonna regret it however with anything that you do you got to keep using it i swear by this papaya seed oil believe it or not i swear by it and those two serum serum and moisturizer that i made on the channel i also swear by it i actually create that facial serum and I was blown away at the result of my own, you know, composition, believe it or not. It is so good. A lady commented recently, I was reading the comment um, a few days ago. She was like, definitely, definitely, you got to bottle this. You got to bottle this. And that is the truth. It is so good. If you've not seen that video, definitely check it out. The papaya moisturizer is amazing. So watch that video. We have the moisturizer and we also have the serum. And now here we're featuring the oil. I stumbled on this from one of my subscribers and that's why I love you guys so much. I was like talking one day like, I so love to use this papaya on my skin. I wish they have like an oil. And one of my subscriber was like, guess what? They have the oil. That is from Rita. Normally she's now on on the tree P gaming and she was like, yeah, they have the oil old faithful subscriber and I um, went and I got it and it didn't fail at all. So this is an oil that is rich also in vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin E. It's good for boots and collagen. It's good for wrinkles and fine lines. And guess what? It is not an oil that is going to clog the pores. It's very, very light. And look at that. And it just blend right in the skin and the fragrance, basically a fragrant free. I love this. And I like to use this to massage my skin. When I apply my facial toner, I want to two pumps of this avocado um, papaya seed oil and I massage my old face and my neck and it's also good to use on the, your hand. If you can get your hands on the papaya seed oil, especially for wrinkled skin, dry skin, as oily skin and even sensitive skin but as with anything you use use pot test but guess what for most people with sensitive skin you can use oils that's why i recommend oil for people with sensitive skin it's really really good and it have all the natural vitamins and minerals that you can use on your skin to get rid of the wrinkles this one is cold press and um you can also use a carrier oil with the papaya seed oil. It's really, really strong. So you can add some avocado oil to it, or you can add some um, sweet almond oil, olive oil, um, grape seed oil, just had a uh, oil you know to it so if you're using one tablespoon of a carrier oil put about a half a teaspoon of this papaya seed oil mix that up and use it to massage your face use it as an anti-aging facial oil now we have locket good afternoon i'm missing out on everything not seeing video i had so much problem finding you live now don't know what is happening so here is what i'm going to tell you i noticed that a lot of people are saying that they're not finding and this is just the system that is now if you don't want watch the videos as often then they try to introduce other videos to you so what you do you find the channel you go back on it that little thing where you click on the bell icon if you find that you're still connected to click on it click on it click off and then click right back on when you click off and click back on then it's got it refreshes it and then you're gonna start seeing it I don't know why people not get in the notification but from time to time what I find, to be honest, is that whenever the system is on my channel, like last month they were on my channel a lot because they were reading out, you know, people that their account might be closed, like just subscribers that are really not that active or are really not real subscribers. And this they do every single year. So normally when they do that, it's like they reset my channel and that's when people don't get. Did I lose subscribers this year? Absolutely no. So that was really, really good. So I know that 
everybody that subscribed to my channel are legit that is what they weed out if you subscribe and you're like phony or you make another account blah 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 then they just take you off so i went through a very very smooth um this month and i am very happy so thank you all for being true subscribers to the channel all right so we are moving on and um combination skin um i have a combo skin papaya seed serum works for me thank you so much so uh, i do have my subscribers trying this papaya seed serum it is really 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 a good serum to try if you can get your hands on some papaya seed fresh papaya seed watch that video and try it and then come back and leave a comment hi cindy john how are you for my saggy neck i use coconut oil vitamin e oil oba oil rose hip and carrot oil together now let's dissect this this is actually a very very good oil for sagging skin now she have the carrot oil okay now as you know any of those yellow vegetable gonna have vitamin a and vitamin a is really retinol as we normally talk about which is good for boosting collagen and also it is good for reducing the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin so carrots um oil in this is amazing if you do not have the carrot and you have the papaya you can use either or either so for those of you do do not have the papaya a good um substitute is the carrot oil now here she have the ojoba oil and the ojoba oil can be used as a carrier oil as well as it can be used as a special oil and it is rich in vitamin C and it also is rich in vitamin E and then she have the good old vitamin E oil which as I said it preserve it's like the moisture in the skin and the rosehip oil anti-aging oil which we just talked about with vitamin A vitamin C and vitamin E and here comes the biggie which is the coconut oil now some people normally be like oh when I use a coconut oil it costs my skin to break Break up, blah, blah 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 yes it could happen because guess what the coconut oil is a humectant what the coconut oil coconut oil work just like petroleum jelly on the skin and most people are not aware of that and the funny thing about it is that people tend to put petroleum oh we're not using petroleum jelly we're using coconut oil but guess what the works the same they lock the moisture in the skin prevent it from escaping and only do the same thing too is they are humectant now when you have dry skin the coconut oil is good the vitamin e the ooba the rose hip and the carrot is a good combination you massage that on the skin and it's keep the skin fresh the younger look to the skin is going to come from it locking that moisture when the moisture is sealed in the skin that's why the skin look radiant and glowing and dewy and all of that amazing amazing combination vitamin e um coconut oil or over rose hip and carrot together perfect for sagging neck what you need to do is to make sure to wash your neck exfoliate that neck when you exfoliate your face you exfoliate the neck also now once the neck is clean if you have a facial toner just spritz it on no facial toner dab some rose water on it and reach for this combination don't just apply it on your neck like that press it on the neck to start with and after you press it on the neck you just go back in and do some neck exercises it will help to get rid of the sagging neck it will help to tighten the neck because of the ingredients and also with you applying the massage which is helping to boot circulation very 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 good now jason is using the jojoba as a daily moisturizer really really works and especially jason if you tip a little bit of any oil that is rich in vitamin a in it it's gonna kick it up a notch now um hi margaret how are you now we're moving on from vitamin e and we are gonna move on to rose hip let me just talk about rose hip since a lot of people have been using the rose hip it is on the list as one of the five oils that you should have in your collection and by now because we talk about vitamin e and right through we're talking about the rose hip you should know why we add the rose hip as one of the top five for you know add into your oil collection vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e and when it comes on to price point also it is price friendly not all okay let me tell you something this morning i was going through 
trying to find oils to put on the the list okay and i came across um a few brands that are known out there for skincare products and the rosehip oil was was like 36 dollars like i'm like 36 dollars just because it have a brand no i'm not against brand don't get me wrong but when it comes on to me doing like my natural videos and stuff like that i want to really educate you guys and how to find the best for less okay the best for less and that's what I do 100% pure natural rosehip oil is what you need to look for now when it comes on to where you live please be mindful that the standard might be different here in America if it said 100% rosehip oil it have to be a hundred percent rosehip oil so when you're searching for oils especially these special oils you do not have to go for the bigger brands and just i'm not gonna say waste money because to each is own because sometimes you have a brand that you really really like and you believe in everything that they do but when it comes down to oils i'm just saying okay a hundred percent pure is a hundred percent pure okay a hundred percent pure coconut oil whether it is selling by the little man on the street or the big department store is still a hundred percent pure coconut oil if you get the gist of what i'm saying so if i go out there to buy some coconut oil and it's gonna be like cold press 100 percent pure and it's the little man on the corner selling it that i know that he boil it in his yard and you know in the pot and put it out for my grandmother used to make coconut oil so i know the process then I'm gonna buy that and that is why most time on my channel if you notice the coconut oil that I do use I started using out another brand but now I find this coconut oil and it is from Guyana and it is a hundred percent pure coconut oil and it's really really good and I feature it on my channel all the time I believe in it and it's little to nothing $7.99 I think for the whole bottle so that's what I'm just saying when you go out there and you try to find like rosehip oil and these kind of oils search around search around don't just just grab the first one that you see what you need to look for is first press a cold press and if you are into organic you can look for that also okay now I don't really stress organic on my channel however this one that I do use is organic because it's organic and the price was right definitely search for the oil and make sure you get a good one regardless that the price the better bigger higher price don't mean better when it comes on to oil there are certain products and when it comes on to skincare also there are certain products that higher price is better product um better results because they put more into it and that is the truth you might find a moisturizer and it have yes it might have a big name and the price is high because they do more research and they put really expensive oils and stuff like it so you do get a little bit more but when it comes out to plain old oil oil is oil just make sure you look for 100 percent pure and that is rosy oil let's take some question and then we are gonna move on now let's see who is here let's see some question i make my own coconut oil so we have um shariza that makes her own coconut oil now do you like squeeze that coconut oil and leave it outside with a crossover it my granny used to do that okay and then after the night drew fall on it then she go back and just came off all of that that's forms on the top what they call that like the custard or whatever and then she would put that only that part in the pot boil it down when it dried down it definitely have the oil and then you strain that oil off and that's a hundred percent pure coconut oil however that process is not cold press because we apply heat to that coconut oil okay so that would not fall on the cold press would it fall on the organic yes because at the time where she got those coconut oil um, from it was no form of uh, fertilizer and so on and so forth so the technique cold press is when there's no heat that is applied to the, the the ingredient to extract the oil now first press is different first press could be each source where you get the first set of oil and then they go back over and do it a second time and get the second so on and so forth hi se welcome what is the best time to use oils i prefer to use oils at night the reason why i like to use it at night because i can pack it on in the daytime especially if you're somewhere where it's very warm you don't want to have too much oil on the skin 
one to two drops of oil just to keep the skin hydrated but at night you can just dive in and you can just pat that oil on the skin and it's gonna help now I spoke about this recently on the channel slugging now there's a lot of celebrities that are slugging they're using believe it or not petroleum jelly to slug now what is this slugging about is just applying a paste of petroleum jelly on the face and the neck overnight and wake up in the morning and rinse it off and they swear by this that their skin look plumper firmer and more hydrated I talk about that on the channel a lot it's just that the petroleum is a humectant that will seal the moisture in the skin, prevent it from escaping. Now, remember, a few years ago, everyone was like putting petroleum jelly down. But once the celebrities start to use it, everybody like, oh, yes, it's good. It's good. It's good. I use petroleum jelly from I was a kid. I used, we use it in our hair. We call it Vaseline because that was the brand. We didn't know it was no brand at that time. We just know it as Vaseline. And even today, people still call because they have different companies now that make um, petroleum jelly, but we're still calling it Vaseline because that's what we all know. And maybe that was like one of the first company that actually, you know, start to sell um, petroleum jelly. So I grew up using it in my hair. I grew up using Using it as a lotion we grew up using it as everything everything believe it or not everything like petroleum jelly here petroleum jelly there whatever dry skin petroleum jelly legs foot here everything so I do not put petroleum jelly down what I do I actually educate myself on petroleum jelly the root of it and all of that and most people say it's not natural but guess what it is from the heart just as though you have those clay those clay masks the green clay the yellow clay the brown clay all of that that we use on our skin and we swear by it tell me what is the difference between using a clay and using petroleum jelly some people is gonna be like the clay don't go through all that process yes it does it go through a process when you buy it at the store because they're making sure that they don't have certain kind of chemical in it so it go through a process to test to make sure that there's no harmful chemical in it to the skin similar to the petroleum jelly go through a process they take that crude oil and they go through a process like the coconut oil to produce petroleum jelly which is a byproduct of crude oil okay so definitely when you're you know thinking about the petroleum jelly um don't put it down if it's gonna clog your pores it's because you don't clean those pores out so definitely wash the face exfoliate the skin and when you do all of that if you have to use some petroleum jelly put it on put it on they normally use petroleum jelly and baby nowadays they have um I was trying to remember some names now I haven't seen out there that they're using like you know for the rash and all of that and the the babies but before that it was all petroleum jelly no baby was like getting rash and all of that from it it was smooth in it and I still think it's smooth the skin so anyway going off on the tantrum when it comes on to petroleum jelly most people don't like when I talk about it oh you're doing natural skincare why are you talking about petroleum jelly it's no good I'm not here to put on petroleum jelly use it from a kid growing up and it's always in my house okay I always have one and guess what I do with it I kick it up a notch you can kick it up a notch too. mineral oils God how many of you use mineral oil if you're out there and you're using mineral oil which do get a bad rap also because it's coming from the same source it's a byproduct of the the the, the, the pitch oil and not pitch oil the, the whatever it is that petroleum okay byproduct of petroleum mineral oil before you know it guys Babies, mineral oils was the oil to go to for using on babies. So if it's good for babies, then are we with our tough skin at certain age, nothing is wrong with it. I'm just saying, get your facts straight, turn over your, your beauty products, bottles, read the labels, read the labels, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, so what is going on here now? I'm just seeing some um, condolences going out. Okay, so... Oh, Rita, what is going? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. You should have emailed me. Um, okay, Rita. So, you know, I'm going to call you. You definitely know I'm going to call you. Just, um, keep it up just guys just a little side note i gotta address this one guys rita as i said and three ph gaming i was just talking about her with the papaya seed oil that's rita right there and 
you know, she has been around on my channel for all these years. So if she's going through something, I'm definitely going to, you know, talk about it. And I just want to tell you that just for someone, listen to someone who have lost their mom. I have lost my mom when I was um, 15 years old. And the honest truth is uh, you're never going to forget. And I'm not here to tell you that, um, you know, it's all, you know, it's going to feel better. You get to a stage where you learn to accept it and you will get there somehow, but you're going to find time when you remember something like me, you're still going to break down. You're still going to cry. It's all good. It's all about the memories. Stay strong on in there because you, as you all know that it's, 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 it will happen one day or the other. It's just how you deal with it. Just stay strong. I'm here telling you right now that eventually you can look back and you can cry about it not crying because you know you have you know but just crying to know that oh she was nice she did all of this for me and so on and so forth but i'm in on i'm in there and if you have to cry cry okay if you have to cry cry if you have to break down just break down and let it all out okay that's so if that's how you get your release then just release yourself it's okay to throw things out it's okay to stamp on the ground it's okay to do whatever make you get over this you know um this this little hurdle in your life sorry for your loss and as i said i definitely will get in touch with you sometime in the week okay so 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 sorry to hear but do what you have to do however you grieve go ahead and grieve until you feel a little better you will feel a little better eventually okay some people are quick some people are slow um you know some people anyway we are moving on because if I continue talking about this, Rita, then you're going to have me crying on here. All right. So let's move on. Hey, Rita, you know how nice your face was looking the other day? Like your face was looking so, 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 so good. Then guess what you need to do? Anything that makes you happy, that's what you're going to do right now. Okay. I know. Okay. So you're like, oh, yes, I can. Yeah. Anything that's going to make you feel a little better, like just go ahead and do it. As I said, give yourself a facial, Rita. And I know I could make you laugh. So just give yourself a facial and say, you know what? I'm going to attack this. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. My art goes out to you, Rita. And you know, I actually mean that. Now back to talking about oils all right we are talking about oils if you're just joining i see some you know what i don't understand with people and my cousin pauline was telling me i'm fired up today what i don't understand with people is i would come on this channel right and i would do a live show and i would talk about skincare yes we're here for skincare don't get me wrong we're here for skincare but whenever like something happened and I would try to just address something like, you know, you reach out to a subscriber and to say people would start to click off and you don't understand how mean people are. Like people don't think that because you're on the other side, you're human. OK, we're human. When you watch us on YouTube, we're human. We have life situation that happens also. OK, we have losses. We have trouble. We have bills to pay. We, you know, it's. it's we human so if one of my subscribers is down and you feel like i shouldn't stop to tell my subscribers that you know i'm just sorry for your loss or whatever and you're gonna click off too bad click off bye bye but i'm gonna do it okay i'm gonna do it because it's make me feel good and if someone is following me for all these years and going through something and i can't say to that person stop a oil show for a minute to say i'm sorry for your loss then sorry guys then you probably don't need to be watching this channel all right so we are moving on let's talk a little bit about a squalene oil if you are watching and you know anything about squalene oil it's also another oil that has become very very popular now squalene oil become popular from another brand. I know a brand that do sell squalene oil and they make it popular. But the honest truth is if you can get your hands on the squalene, it's also a good oil to have in your collection. It's a very, very light oil that absorb in the skin. Why I add squalene to the list is because of my subscribers that do have oily skin. 
um, squalene oil help the skin to be hydrated without leaving the greasy feel, making it good. Now, I did an entire show talking about squalene because you have the different type. The skin do produces squalene oil. However, the man-made one that is used to go back on the skin to replace the one that your skin stop producing when it gets a little older is squalene, okay? So you have squalene and you have squalene. Squalene is what you're going to find and it's made from like olive oil um olive and so on and so forth an amazing oil to have in your collection and it's good for anti-aging purposes it's a uh, vitamin c and vitamin e and it also have vitamin a but more vitamin c and vitamin e than vitamin a very very good oil to use on the skin now um rosie exactly don't change who you are thank you so much for that rosie and denise pick up my friend thank you so much for that written jen sending you both love and we also thank you for those uh, comments now rosie is using a squalene and um i love squalene really moisturize my skin so definitely guys if you can get your hands and i was looking for mine look like it didn't make it to the table but get yourself squalene if you can now all these oils that we feature on the channel you do not have to have all of them you can choose to have one the one oil that i recommend that everyone should have in the collection is the vitamin e the other oils you can have one or you can have two but these are some good oils to have okay so choose one or choose all if you can but you don't have to because they all contain the a the b and the c and when we talk about oils we focus more especially on this channel what we focus is what is in the oil okay so even though it is oil we look for oils that is rich in vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e because those are going to work on the skin topically and those are going to help to transform the skin so we are moving on now, um, Shalapi, I totally agree with you, Chichi. Some people don't have anyone to talk to, and platform like yours is the only place they get to interact. Please, you are doing a good, doing good, encouraging whenever you can, love. And thank you so much for your comment. What was uh, Maya? What's your best avocado mask? I have some avocado that's not so firm, and that is why you use them. When you find that the avocado is is softy, softy, you buy a bad batch. I hate when that happens because I love to eat it and I like to use it on my face. Okay, so when I get an avocado, it's a little softy, softy. Yes, I know it can make my facial mask, but guess what? I'm like, oh my goodness, because I like to eat it. All right, so avocado, and I think I post. I think I have one coming up this week but we have a wide variety on the channel right now i cannot like pinpoint like which one of the avocado mass i would think is the best one however the last one that i post which i think i post about two weeks ago try that one just go on the channel page in the search bar just put avocado mass uh, and it's gonna come up a few of them is gonna pop up there's one video that i made years ago using avocado and i mixed the avocado with some papaya that was good but if you only have avocado just blend that avocado put some milk or put some yogurt in it if you have either or either and just 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 put it all over your face or check out one of the video not sure which is best because i use i have several different ones but on a whole even if you use the avocado by itself it's gonna make a good mass especially anti-aging now ttt have um 2004 iu vitamin a capsule how much i use in my recipe now one capsule is gonna give you about three drops that's all you need vitamin a is an oil that you do not use directly on the skin so you mix it with a carrier oil no more than one Three drops is all you need, and that is what you're going to get from one of those capsules. Run about three drops, okay? Very, very good question. All right, so we are moving on. We are talking about oils. Now, we mentioned, I have an oil, and I forget to bring it here, which is the Bakuchial oil. It's like a new oil, to be honest. New to the skincare world, but not new per se. It has been around for centuries, okay? The Bakuchial oil. However, since they start, technology has been so advanced, they start to find that it contains 
retinol okay now retinol is really vitamin a and they are now calling this bakuchiol oil the new natural retinol that really works to boost the collagen and actually get rid of wrinkles and fine lines it's a very very thick oil i do have i feature it on the show somehow it's not on my decks right here but if you can get your hands on that that's another oil to have in the collection especially sagging neck sagging jawline deep forehead wrinkles parentheses upper lips and also that oil you just add one to two drop to a carrier oil i'm sorry i don't have the bakuchial oil on my desk but my whole subscriber you all know that i do have that oil now let's reach for another oil and this is going to be the final one which is the marula oil how many of you tried the marula oil we talk about the marula oil on the show self life of a week is um for refrigerate okay whatever natural remedies that you make i normally give you some days some days before bacteria start to farm so i always suggest that you use them up in seven days however let's be real not everything go bad in seven days but to be on the safe side you got to give the correct timing and anything after seven days you're on your own now when you use like coconut water to make a facial toner which i like i use it a lot coconut water and if you mix coconut water with some rose water you don't have to use that up. as a matter of fact i have some coconut water um with rose water and i have it way over four weeks and it's still good so you gotta know what you can use from what you can use anything with milk three to four days anything with egg don't do it more than two days and so on and so forth but when it's certain things like some of the facial toner even though if i make some star anise facial toner with rose water i might tell you to use it up in seven days but in all fairness you can have it for up to two weeks and it's not gonna go bad i hope i answer your question all right guys so if you're just joining us could you please give a quick recipe using avocado face mask okay so avocado let's do a quick recipe i think i just gave one but let me do another one you're gonna get your avocado and all you need is just a little slice of that avocado you're gonna use a spoon or a fork to mash the avocado now once you do that you are gonna add something else to it now here goes you can choose to add some yogurt to it you can choose to add some milk you can choose to add another fruit, as I mentioned earlier, like the papaya. But guess what I would like you to add if you have it? Some aloe vera gel. You can add some fresh aloe vera gel or you can use some store-bought aloe vera gel. Blend that in and then you reach for the good old vitamin E oil, no vitamin E oil, any oil you have, one to two drops. Mix those three together and guess what? That is it. That's a quick three ingredient avocado facial mask that not only is going to hydrate, reduce wrinkles and fine lines, but coming from the aloe vera is going to clear the spots and blemishes on the skin. That is one. First of all, that's one, but the fact that I give the option of using yogurt, that could be another one. Another thing that you can actually add to the avocado to kick it up a notch, you can add some green tea water to it. So when you mash that avocado out, brew a tea bag, take a teaspoon of that green tea, mix it up with it, or you can even use some matcha powder if you don't have the green tea mix. Oh, the avocado with the matcha, I think we have a video on that. That could really kick it up a notch. So you have a wide variety of ingredients that you can add to that avocado to make it your own, okay? All right, so we are moving on. So Jill, my coconut water, my coconut water was open for several months and it was still good. So that's what I'm talking about. When you, you, you need to know what you can keep longer and you need to know what you need to discard after seven days. All right. So if I didn't ask, could you please give a quick, okay, just read that. How about rose hip oil? We just talked about rose hip oil, Rita, which is one of the other oil that is good to have in your collection. Any drugstore face product for firming the skin now the one drugstore um let me do a little quick um thing about a uh, drugstore skincare if you are living let's say in america one um good brand we're not endorsing any brand per se but we're just keeping it real one good brand that you can use is l'oreal and you're going to find l'oreal with a wide variety of skin firming thing why do i normally suggest using l'oreal as one of the drugstore um thing is because 
L'Oreal, let's say in America, is drugstore. When you go to Europe, you go to France, you go to Italy, it is IN. It's IN, it's in their department store, not the drugstore. And how I know that, because I do travel and I do have friends that will share skincare, you know, products and stuff like that. Now, when they come here, they will be stocking up on the L'Oreal because it's cheaper. All right, but the ingredients are special ingredients, just as though you'd go in the department store, like in Macy's or one of these, you know, um, um, I can't even remember department store now, except Macy's, Nima Marcus and all these kind of places, and you're gonna get those I and that's how you get L'Oreal abroad, okay? So that you could use. Now, let's talk about Isle of Olay, okay? And it's okay for us to talk about Isle of Olay. Isle of Olay came on the market banging. Like, everyone was like, Isle of Olay, Isle of Olay, because the products was really working on the skin. And the, the price range was really, really friendly. However, guess what, guys? Sorry, Isle of Olay. I went in the, the pharmacy recently, and your price is not the way they used to be. Isle of Olay, now the price is mm, going up, going up. But I guess, you know, research and all of that, then people tend to have more. But that's another good um, drugstore brand if you want to find a good skin firming uh, moisturizer or anti-aging cream that you can use on the skin. So those right now is the two that I, and I think nowadays Nitrogena is now coming up. Nitrogena before used to be just like facial wash and, you know, acne products and stuff like that. Now they're branching out and they're making like anti-aging cream and serum and all of that. So that's another popular brand that you could look into. Personally, for me, when I go to the drugstore and I'm going to look for something, it's always going to be, and, 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 and I'm just keeping it real. I would normally gravitate towards like the L'Oreal because I know the background of um, L'Oreal. Okay, so now let's move on. Okay, so um, um, Alivan, I have lover products for skin when in Europe and um, someone is agreeing with me with the L'Oreal, someone is agreeing about the, 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 the Isle of Olay. All right, so um, Lorraine, let's see this one. I have a lot of supplements that I have not used like um, spirulina, barley grass, and moringa. Can I use it? All right, let's, I mean, this is skincare, guys, so we could dive into this, all right? Now, personally for me, I have I can, everything that she lists here. Now, the barley grass and the, the, the moringa, moringa. Okay, earlier, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about um, the green powder and the red powder. Like, yes, because the green powder contained like matcha, it contained like um, spinach leaf, it contained barley grass and all of that. Those I make in my smoothies and also... Um, the merengue, I do have the merengue tea bag, which I make as a tea. Now, all of these, I suggest that that is thing that you take like internally. Remember, anything that you're going to take, make sure to consult your doctor first to make sure you're okay with these. But for me, I do the green powder, which have all of these that you mentioned. And I put like a, 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 a teaspoon in my smoothie and I use like the red one that have all like the berries and stuff like that, you know, to each his own, but it definitely... They call them um, superfood, that is, and they just spike you, you know, you know, you get a little bit more nutrients than what you would normally eat. How do I feel about them? Love them, use them, and recommend them. And as I said earlier, though, make sure to consult your doctor. Now, someone is, Kyle is mentioning, Lancome is lovely, love their perfume. Now, Lancome. Okay, let's talk about Lancome a little bit, guys. Now, years ago, and tell me if you're watching and tell me if I'm wrong. To me, personally, years ago, I, um, I used to think that Lancome was um, price-friendly until about, let's say for the past 10 years or so, Lancome is almost out of our price range. Let's be honest, guys. If you use Lancome, it's not a drugstore. I think it used to be in the drugstore. Correct me, correct me, guys. But now Lancome is more in the department store and a little small bottle of Lancome price is like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars. Be fair, guys. Lancome now is now a treat. For me, Lancome is a treat. It's like gets so expensive. Never used to be that expensive. If, you, if you're coming from way back, Lancome used to be like, Oh, just as though we're talking about L'Oreal. Come on, guys, if you're with me here. Just like we talk about L'Oreal. However, 
all of a sudden, I came by Lancome. They have some nice one that I would like to try. It's just too expensive. Way, way, way too expensive these days. I love the perfume. I buy the perfume because the perfume is going to you know, keep me forever. But when it comes down to the skincare, I find it to be out of my price range these days. Okay, anyway, if you're just joining, yes, we're talking about skincare. And guess what? We're also talking about stuff you can buy at the store. Someone just asked a question about, you know, a good drugstore product, which we do mix with all our natural stuff because that is how the world go. You use a little natural and you use a little store bought. Nothing is wrong with that. And I am all for that. Now, if you can afford Lancome, they definitely, um, they definitely, they're good products. Don't get me wrong. They're very good. It's just that I don't know. It's like I close my eyes and I open my eyes and I can't afford Lancome. Before I could afford Lancome. Don't know what happened. And I'm, I'm going to do the research, okay? I'm going to really dive into seeing what and when did Lancome. Because Lancome and L'Oreal was right there. Now you can't buy it. So I, I, I don't know what happened. They probably changed, managed. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. But I am going to check it out. Um, Maya, uh, for exercise tree, do you, okay. For exercise tree, do we have to move the head? No. If in that video, she's talking about the video that I post. If you don't have, no. If I'm moving the head, that I'm doing it wrong. Okay? No. You don't move your head with the exercise. Try to keep the head steady and all you're moving is your face. Okay? All right. If you have not seen that video where we share, you know, how to tighten that skin, get rid of the laugh lines and have your face looking young and perky like that, go and watch it. Now, I'll leave auntie. I prefer having natural with good ingredient, no chemical, but wonder, um, but wonder of the efficacy of natural. Shireen, what can I use with C, um, with the C powder? Okay. So people know I like, um, now when it comes on to acne, um, this really works on the skin. Don't ask me why I'm not pronouncing the word because I did ask some, you know, some of the, the people up in higher places, um, and YouTube, why whenever we make a video and we use that word, why it, um, the video don't normally do well because I was at this meeting where, you know, we were able to ask these questions and I learned that there's something that went on and because of that, it spiked. So that's why sometimes you don't see me use it on the channel anymore um, because it's the system tend to pick it up. I don't know if it's clear now, but yes, it's really good for acne, but you got to be mindful that it do burns. Like, so if you're using it, I would suggest Maybe mix it with some milk. I have a video and a lot of people try that. I actually did did it on my niece and it was okay. But after a while, um, some of my subscribers were saying that it burns a little. And then we went back and we tried and we realized that, yes. So if you have sensitive skin, it's not good for you unless you dilute it. You dilute it with a little yogurt or you dilute it with a little milk. But it's good for acne and while you are at it just tip a bit of that tea tree oil and exfoliate the skin and then you use it and rinse off okay all right so uh which powder is good for dark chocolate skin okay so that is the reason why now if you want to know more about like makeup and all of these kind of things we are going to start featuring this on our alex maxi if you look below the in the description box right now you're going to see the channel and i wish i had it on my thing here for you to just pick it up you're going to see it on the channel but it is alex maxi that's just it a l e x i i m a x i alex maxi that is the name of our new channel where we're going to feature makeup we're going to do like powders and stuff like that so you're asking which powder is best now guess what there are a wide variety of powders on the market these days like a wide variety but let's look on some dark skin um products like you have the black opal not going anywhere always around still good and i still use it i like their powder and i like their their makeup stick that is good okay now definitely when it comes on i'm skipping over their imani imani is still around and they actually make good powder okay now 
if you know anything about Imani, like the supermodel and all of that, and years and years ago, she got into because she couldn't find um, makeup that suit her skin tone and she dived in and now she's having some real, she's always having good ones. That's um, another good brand. And Fenty, let's not forget about Fenty. You can find any shade in Fenty, any shade you want. So those are some of the better ones. I give you new ones like the Fenty, and I give you old one like the black opal and right in the middle like Imani. Just go get your shade. Now, they have new ones that are geared towards, you know, like vegan and stuff like that, like Kat Van D now is all vegan, but that's another level. You're asking about darker skin, and I would definitely go with Fenty, Black Opal, or Imani. All right, so um, someone want to know, good morning, Chichi, your, your skin is glowing, thank you so much. And you're saying good morning, meaning you might be in Australia or somewhere like that. Guys, I see my time is up. This week, we might have two pop-up shows, okay? It's going to be our day show to push start, our September daytime show. So look out for it. I'm not quoting a day, but I'm thinking I'm looking at maybe Wednesday, um, Wednesday and Friday. We might have two pop-up shows, but we'll... We put the notification out pretty, pretty early. Now, if you're here, you're just joining, you want to know what oils that we spoke about. We spoke about the vitamin E oil, and we also talk about papaya seed oil. We do the um, rose hip oil, and I was really on the, I would do the bakuchial oil, and I was asking about the marula oil. We also did this squalene oil. So, so those are some of the oils that you, um, you can use and some of those oils that are good to have in your collection. Now, someone want to know what is a good oil for brightening the skin, getting rid of pigmentation on the skin. Now, we all know about vitamin C and vitamin C is that vitamins that's going to clear the hyperpigmentation. Now, one oil that is rich in vitamin C is lemon oil. You can use lemon oil, but when it comes on to the regular oils, they all contain a bit of a vitamin C, such as the papaya seed oil, such as the, the avocado oil, and even the rosehip oil. For skin brightening, you need to enhance that, and the best one would be with the, 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 the lemon oil. Please know that there's two different lemon oil. You have lemon oil and you have lemon essential oil. Now, if you do not have lemon oil, then lemon oil is, is another story because you're going to find lemon oil to clean the floor, lemon oil. So be mindful, okay? It have to be for using topically on the skin. And when in doubt, just get your lemon, peel it, dry that peel. When the peel is dry, blend it to a powder and you can add some oil to it any good carrier oil, whether sweet almond oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, set it in a dark place in your pantry, take it out after six weeks, strain it off, and there you get a good oil, natural oil made by you that can help to clear hyperpigmentation on the skin. Tomato oil is also good for brightening the skin. I have a tomato video coming up, not tomorrow, I think the day after Tuesday, we have a tomato video coming up for brightening the skin. So watch out for that. Very, very good. I used it on my face um, two days ago and oh, my face was looking really nice. So the tomato video is coming up. It's a brand new tomato video. None of the old ones. It's a new video coming up showing you how to use a tomato to brighten the skin. Now, if you didn't watch the video I posted this morning, go and look at it. And also, if you didn't watch the exercise video for the face, that we post yesterday go and check it out as a matter of fact just support your girl by going and watching the videos now if you don't get notification guys come on the channel page go on community because we're always posting there and make sure to watch the videos and if you're not getting notification click off the little bell icon and click back on so that it refreshes so you can get your notification. That's my time for today. I'm going to take two more questions and then we are out of here. Okay, so let's see who, if you have a question, go ahead and ask. Right now, we are taking question. Now, for anyone that, um, let's see, want to be a part of our um you know showing your skin we're having a sunday show and we want a few people who is willing 
to come on and show their skin like look at my skin your skin don't have to be perfect as a matter of fact we're looking for people who have problem with their skin and have been struggling like for years and trying to get their skin to look good we're looking for at least five to ten people that was willing to be featured on the show what we're gonna do we are gonna take a look at your skin and we're gonna suggest some things and you know the subscribers are gonna have to suggest something and then you're gonna go and do whatever you're told to do for about two weeks or so and then we're gonna have a not a show with you showing your skin to see if there's any improvement on the skin I'm so looking forward to that so if you want to be a part of that and you don't mind showing your face and camera then send us an email and send the an email to chichibuti at gmail.com there is the email for you because you know people always want the interaction of the crowd and I want the interaction with you also so I want you to, to be able to show off your skin and you know let everyone see that things is working for you so send your information to Chichi Beauty if you can you can put in the title um Sunday show just put in the title capital letter now when you send email to me normally when you're writing and online writing internet writing all cap is shouting however if you want me to see your email shout meaning that you're gonna write all cap the bigger the better they stand out and if you can color it it's even better because I'll see it highlighted. If you're going through thousands of emails and you see something with a bright color, it's gonna catch your big letters. Okay, so make sure in the comment, in the, the, the information, you put big letters so I could see it, especially if you want me to reply to it. Okay, all right, so that is my time. Brooklyn, New York. I mix all my oils together at bedtime and wake up looking fresh because that help the skin to keep hydrated thank you so much for watching join us sometime this week i'm looking at wednesday i'm saying it's wednesday don't hold me to it in case something pop up i have a youtube get together 26 i'm not even sure what date is the 26 plus i have a stream yard <laughs> sometime this week too that's why i'm saying don't hold me to it but i'm definitely gonna put the notification out pretty pretty early for you all to see watch the videos you miss and be prepared for september okay and remember if you have not subscribed to alex maxi please do so the link is in the description and um somewhere at the top and i keep telling you all about alex maxi because we're going to be going over there with some content that most of you might want to see that is not necessarily about a skincare bye jason bye everyone be good to yourself have a good week love you continue to support and i'll see you in my next video go watch the videos you missed this week comment watch the commercial and guess what and share it on your social media bye bye Bye.